Here we are at Hellscream Haunted House. We have our booze and brews, first ever beer fest inside of a haunted attraction. Um, Hellscream Haunted House, the very first haunted house to ever do this. Full scare, full special effects tour. And along the way, we have three beer sampling stations brought to you by Nano 108 Brewing. Um, and then we've got a fourth station in our Western Town Saloon. So each station, two beers inside the house, so two per floor, and the seventh beer is out in the uh, Western Town. Great crowd, actually very surprised. Um, first year inaugural event, We're not, we weren't sure what to expect. Uh, we've got two radio stations out here, Kilo and RxP. Uh, they're promoting it and it's been amazing. Customers are coming out just blown away. Um, had never, they've never been to an event like this before with, with uh, you know, incredible haunted house, super long haunted house, amazing scares, and you stop along the way and you sample beer, uh, in, you know, able to catch your breath and wipe the sweat off your brow from being so scared, and then you move on to the next sampling station. Very pleased and very surprised with the turnout today. So um, definitely be doing this next year in, in bigger fashion. So um, it's a good day. We're all pretty tired because we didn't get out of here until about midnight last night. Turn around, get here about uh, 9.30 this morning, setting up, and we'll be here probably about 14 hours today between the, the uh, Booze and Brews Beer Fest and then the Haunted House tonight. Uh, we'll have a huge crowd tonight. So uh, we're running on fumes, but that's what we do, man. Halloween season, Haunted House season. Go Hellscream. The event is going great. People are drinking beer and having fun. Keith Altimos. I'm the owner and brewer of Nano 108. Uh, me and my partners are throwing a party down here at Hellscream Haunts and uh, we're serving seven different beers within the haunted house and uh, we're just trying to serve everybody great beer and some fun. Though we're serving seven different beers, everything light to dark and we're also serving an Imperial Pilsner which is a high alcohol Pilsner, German Pilsner, right out here in the old saloon where you see us now and uh, long story is we're serving various beers, strawberry cream ale, milk style, red ales, uh, IPAs, and uh, we're just trying to have fun and next year we'll be back again and we'll be doing it bigger. Usually we get calls about drunk people 
during the night, uh, but now it's during the day, and uh, so we're getting calls on the radio all day. Oh, there's some drunk people. It's like, well, it's kind of expensive because it's a brew fest. So I mean, there's going to be drunk people. Like I'm Matt with the Wild Heart Foundation, and we are here helping animals in captivity. Partnered up with an amazing haunted house. So we focus on any wild animals that are living in zoos, sanctuaries, uh, any wildlife refuges, and we we give them toys, uh, pools. We build bigger, better enclosures. When, when they told me that this event was going on and they asked me to partner up with them, I was so excited. I, I love haunted houses, and this one has been the top rated in the state for a long time now. And uh, I, I jumped at the opportunity. I'm really, really excited for this. You can donate online at thewildheartfoundation.org. You can also go on to facebook.com slash wildheart.foundation. Uh, we are completely run by volunteers, all run by donations, so every little bit helps. <laughs> That's a dirty Sanchez with a ticket hand. That's right. Husband's in here. Uh, it's just that was our opening night, but the tickets you buy online are good for any night. Yes, sir. No problem. Take care. Bye bye. Monica, you want to pick up some toilet paper? You really do? That's fun. You really do? Fun. There's no toilet paper. Oh, there's some right here. Can I pick this up real quick. There you go. Sharing in the duties. Get it? I said duty. <laughs> You're a genius. I said duty. Okay, we got tickets for trash. Don't dump it in there. We'll take it over here. Don't, awesome. oh, please! <laughs> it's gross. There's a trash can right over there. Never above cleaning up toilet paper. My name is Terry. I've been here for, this is my fourth year. Yes. Well, right now, what I'm be doing is, I'm sorry if I'm still I'm naked, but I am selling some stuff there. And that's my father. We hanged him. I loved it. And if you want to buy one of these, you know, all it costs is a kidney, a spleen, a liver. Don't you start that. You charge too and much. No, I don't. Don't listen to him. Don't He's listen delusional. To him. He literally charges an no. arm leg for a turkey no. wing. No. It's not even a turkey wing. It's from a dove. It's a turkey. It was a dove with on With a little bit of meat on it. Yes. No, it was not. Yes. You want to fight about it? I do you. We're about to tell. We're about to tell. We're about to tell. The windmill. We're about to tell. <laughs> So here you are with the Mayhem Twins. When things get crazy, <laughs> step into our cave. Roses are red, violets are blue. My brother has a chainsaw, and it's coming through you. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put it in yourself. Stop it. I just stop it. <laughs>
um, I walked through the door and it was just like, the lights were off and like, couldn't see anything and everybody just kept jumping at us. And it was just like, not my type, I guess, of haunted house. I started running and crying and my brother and my sister are still in there and uh, I went into the like in a room and there was this lady that walked up to me and I said just please stop and uh, she like came to reach at me and I so I took her hand and she brought me out here and uh, like I have asthma so it's like I don't know that girl was a relative of ours <laughs> Come on, she was afraid. She uh, she didn't make it very far. It happens all the time. Um, staff were all trained to just pull them out when that happens, so that was good. Um, she probably won't come to one of her haunted houses again, but she had a good time for the hallway anyway. I'd like to use him in my new doll. Oh. Do not worry though, we'll put the rest of you in a soft padded room so you cannot damage the body until I have to figure out what to do with it. Because at this point, I only want her eyes. You have seen my other doll, have you not? You can't miss her. Yeah, she's mostly human. You have to get creative when you want to make them over nine foot tall, you understand? I like the way you jumped in to protect your friend. You might want to consider a new frame. Exactly about the night, Saturday night that we hope for the numbers and stuff, and everybody's doing a great job. They put in uh, five hours earlier today, and then they got another four tonight. So I'm really proud of them. They're busting their rear ends. A lot, a lot of work for them tonight, but they're doing good. They're scaring the heck out of people. So uh, it's going good. Doing all right. We're setting up here, getting ready for reviews. I might we have got. Where you're at or something. I, don't uh, I don't remember who's coming to review us. Fr uh, Friday night, something. Uh, we got people coming to review us here in a few hours. So we're getting all makeup done and everything wrapped up for the band and whatnot. Mile High Haunt reviews. Um, they're the ones that gave us the number one rating the last two years. And uh, they're coming tonight. So we got to put on a, a good show. Um, actors are all amped up and prepped and ready. Um, we, got a, we got our number one status to maintain tonight. So it should be a big night. We've got a live band. Uh, should have a good crowd tonight. So looking forward to a great night. As of my Holla. Uh, my first week and a half here at Hell Scream was great. Um, so far I got a lot of pretty good scares in I think and I'm ready for the rest of the season. We had like like two people like pissed themselves. Some big guy in the dungeon had a panic attack. Uh, other than that, so far going strong. It's been two weeks now. We're killing it at the moment. Uh, people here are treating me great. Uh, so far, I'm getting a lot of tips from everybody, and they're welcoming yeah. me as a newbie and whatnot. So I appreciate um, all that here. So far, so good. Friday seem a little slow. Saturdays are better. Got a good challenge coming tonight. Colorado Hunts is coming through. So we got to have our A game going. 
continuously. Which is what I'm gonna push when we do the warm-ups. If you're already on your A game, you don't have to do anything, just do. That's the way I want them to do tonight. I want them to treat everybody like they're Colorado Haunts. If they do that, we'll be number one again. I don't have any. I mean, I, I can either bullshit and say everything's good, or I can say we're working out the kinks, which is more the honest answer, but I think they would have preferred me to give you the less honest answer. <laughs> Is our uh, weaver? Check, check, say, check, you know, check. Saying stuff like "Don't, mm -hmm. don't enter if you're pregnant." Dang. Oh yeah. Sorry. Um, Everybody can hear me. If you're prone to seizures, um, if you have any, you know, heart condition, anything like that. So we have to, we have to let people know that it's a pretty hostile, hostile environment in there. They're bringing the light band, so I assume uh, whatever powers be don't like this kind of music. <laughs> Here's what I can come up with. I like the 80s music. I remember it mostly. Okay, maybe not so much. It just was a fun time. If I was in the Navy, many ports, I think. And windy and, and rainy. Uh, it sucks for the makeup. <laughs> Pretty fucking. Yeah, but you know what? It also gets me. Greasy and into it. It's dark. It's evil. Oh, it's, it's raining. It's, hopefully, we'll have good weather later on. Hope it stops raining. Oh, you know, I don't know why. It's the weather, don't you know? We're in the weather here. It's mean weather. I'm technically supposed to be inside, so <laughs> I hope I don't know. It's not rain. me out trying to collect some blood for my blood shine. Rain, rain, go away. Come again. Never again. Um, well, we're only at five. Yeah. Let's see where we're at. Uh, five forty-eight. Um, so we open. We open at about. Hopefully, about forty-five minutes or so. And it looks like the rain's already passing. But we had a nice little rainstorm blow through. We had rain last night, which does not help our numbers. Um, we're hoping it's just, we're hoping it's moving out. I think it is. Wind picked up, had some uh, rain for about 15, 20 minutes, but I think we're starting to be in the clear, so it's starting to clear out. It is the best feeling in the world knowing that you're part of something that is number one in the entire state. Yeah. So let's strive for that. Don't, don't do it for Vince, Jack, and Jeff. Don't do it for yourselves. Do it for Hellstream. We are a family, and we're gonna do this together as a team. Uh, hi, Haunts. Um, as you know, these are the people that gave us our number one status for two years in a row. Huh. Amazing stuff. So you guys stay amped up and stay stay supercharged and in a frenzy. Uh, we want you, and, and, and I think Dr. Von Helton talked about it possibly. I don't know if you mentioned it. 
You know, every group, every group that goes through here should be the Mile High Haunt there Review Group. It now. should be. I mean, give everybody the best show you can. Yeah, I mean, it just and you guys have, you guys have, you never let up, which is amazing. You don't understand. You see what happened is one night I'm doing the brain surgery, and uh, in the middle of the brain surgery, I sneezed. <laughs> Now we have Rose. <laughs> Rose, there are some really pretty shoes over here. <laughs> this one right here. She's a high voice. She takes her off. Oh, Pushing me. <laughs> so, she just wants to make a trade with you. No thanks. That's you want to trade your shoes? Pass. What size do you wear? I don't think I can wear your shoe. You can have your shoes. You did it. She got style. Nice. Don't scuff them. Damn. 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 All right, guys. Oh, it's really oh, warm. Oh, there you go. Now the other shoe. <laughs> oh, you better hurry. Give her your shoe. <laughs> you gotta put them on. <laughs> oh, she gonna wrap you up. Is it my turn? Missy, put it on. Put the shoe on. You're on the wrong feet. My name is Angie, and I play the character Rose. Um, I've been at House Scream for two years. Uh, I've been doing, I guess, Rose for maybe close to 17 years um, at other haunted houses. Another haunted house, I guess. Um, and the first week of House Scream, I think, was pretty awesome. Uh, opening weekend was rad. Got a lot of people scared. So, good. There's three of us, there's multiples of us, of the, of us out there. Uh, Screwing with people, I guess. Uh, and I have a lot of fun terrorizing them. I actually look forward to it all week. My heart's a little sad when Sunday comes around on uh, these first few weekends and I can't do it. Yeah, I love the energy going into it. Just we're, we're all amped up, ready to go. It's like ravenous beasts waiting to pounce on their prey. That's kind of the way it feels, so. It'll be fun. Why were they? Why, who was getting on you? Who was getting on you? I have no idea. Why were they getting on you? I have. I didn't touch anybody. What were they telling you to do? I have no idea. Okay. Well, you were going I pretty have slow. No idea. You were going pretty slow in there. You were slowing things down. Because I was down. enjoying let me, let me my money. Because they were making out and grinding on each other in line. I had to tell them two or three times to stop doing that. Yeah. So that's the same exact couple. Yeah. And I was following them. The actors were telling me they're touching stuff. Yeah. They're getting too close. They're getting right up in the actors' faces. Well, I, mean, I told them, I you, you, tell cannot them the do that. you cannot do that. Stop doing that, please. Yeah. Or I'm going to have to remove you. Yeah. And he said, okay, okay. And kept walking. Yeah. So I mean, obviously, like, he's, he's intoxicated. Obviously. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely he is. It's, uh, 
I have to smile. It's a, it's a great night. A little, a little frustrated right now. I mean, we, we're early in the season, and so we're trying to uh, work out all the kinks and everything in the bugs, and uh, we've got a huge crowd out there, and, and we're testing some new... Um, this makes it all better right there. We're testing out some new um, some new techniques with the flow and everything. We've got Jeremy's doing doing an awesome job, our GM. Um, but a couple a couple medical issues, a little bit of drama here and there. Um, that's a haunted house industry, so never changes. I'm Ripper. We're with MileHighHaunts.com. Uh, we just we review haunted houses. Last year they were Denver or Colorado's number one haunted house, and we expect the same tonight. We'll see if they live up to their name. Uh, we've got a criteria base, so we're looking for um, first impressions, uh, scare factor, special effects and scenes, actors, stuff of that nature. So we're, we're reviewing it on multiple criteria. We'll ding them if there's, you know, actors out of character, if they break character. We, we try to make them break character, too, and if they do, then, you know, we'll ding them a little, but... We're looking for everything. We're 360 degrees the whole time through the whole haunt, so. Uh, we're gonna hold, we're gonna send them through. Okay. We're gonna hold the door for two, three minutes, and oh, then we're gonna send the uh, next group. Okay, cool. So we'll give them a really good show. All right. All right. We are about to get reviewed by Mile High Haunts. Okay. Jeremy, do you want to say anything to people right now? Yes. Uh, Mile High Haunts will be the next people, and I'll open the door. Okay. Uh, we're I'm holding the front door right now for Mile High Haunts. We're about to be reviewed. Uh, the reason I'm holding the front door is so we can get these groups through the house and give them a nice good show. Yeah, these guys always do really good. Um, their actors are always on point. We'll have a review up here in the next few days and we can get it all kind of compiled and get our thoughts together on it. Yeah, we look glad we could visit it again, you know, it's really, it's hard to take all that in just in one time. It's pretty crazy in there. Definitely. There's stuff in every square inch of that Learned place. Some new so. stuff. Yeah. MileHighHaunts.com, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the whole shebang, just Mile High Haunts through and through, so see the health screen get rated pretty good again. We'll see if they're number one. We don't know. We shut, we, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting gestures behind me for the camera there. Um, <laughs> hi. Uh, now we close the haunt. We're done. We're done for the season. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, we'll take, we'll, uh, we'll check the website every day to see what kind of a uh, score we got. Um, we, we rely heavily on the, the good ratings for advertising and marketing promotions and all that stuff. And these guys love us. Um, we're pretty confident we'll get a really good score. Um, and it's also, it's good constructive criticism to where we can go in to make some changes, make some repairs, move stuff around, all that kind of stuff. So um, it, it gives us something to work on. And uh, uh, just, just we appreciate the feedback and all that kind of stuff. So uh, from here... We just keep plugging away and uh, hopefully take these good reviews and ride the wave for the rest of the, rest of the season. So um, we can kind of take a big uh, sigh of relief that they're, they've been here and um, now we can just have fun and do our job and, and be scary like we always do. We're going to talk about our number one status, number one rating. Uh, we've been really fortunate to be named the scariest and best haunted house in Colorado. Um, man, this is, it's several years in, in, in a row, but um, we've been really fortunate because two different Denver Haunted House review organizations came down. Spooky Colorado rated us 10 out of 10 this year for 2016, and Mile High Haunts uh, rated us as the number one haunted house in the entire state of Colorado. So it's a, it's a great feeling because we, again, we're, you know, we're south of Denver, 
smaller population and we're beating all the big haunted houses up in Denver. Um, some of the mega, mega haunted houses, we've, we've crushed them, we beat them. Um, so that's just a validation on you know, our hard work, Jack, Jeff, and I, all this, the managers, the staffers, Jeremy, the GM, um, D and James, and then, then all of our iconic characters, Dr. Von Helton, and um, we got the Pumpkin King. I mean, it's just culmination of, of just insane hard work uh, being put into this haunted house, and, and it just, it feels good. Keeps, keeps, uh, keeps us going, re-energizes -ener us. We got some screams going on. Um, it's that, that re-energizing -ener that we need to keep this thing going. Um, so yeah, we can say uh, we're number one.